Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Good morning commanders. The pace at which we are moving as a party I can assure you, I can assure you, we have frustrated more of our own supporters. The government and the party are not moving together. I would tell you that uh, even our ministers are contributing to the falling of the party. Yesterday, Minister Kabuso came to the province to open or to officially uh, commission the new mine called Nickel Mine in Kalumbira district. The youth chairman was not aware. I don't know who they communicate with. The district chairman for Kalumbira was chased from entering. What did him and the other top officials entered? The party officials that came to actually receive him at the airport they were all denied access to the mine he went to commission the the plant alone this is not the first time this thing is happening um, we have seen a number of programs that are rolling around the country where ministers PSCs and those in government undertake without considering the importance of the party or recognizing the party. This is 2023, 2024, 2025, 2026 elections. We have continued creating fresh wounds in our members. There is poverty in the UPND. There is poverty among the youths terrible poverty all their hopes are gone all their hopes are gone they did not hope for poverty i know there are good programs that the president has done on the ground but who is able to talk about them to convince the people that are complaining how many people are in the offices are able to come out to complain, I mean to convince people or talk about what the president has done. It is the part which is supposed to be all over the radio stations, all over the streets. The party is everywhere and they are able to communicate with the people that they meet. But the party has become useless. They cannot be aware of what uh, the government is doing. So surely, do we feel we need power again? These people are supporters. We don't own them. We don't own them at all. They joined the party on their own willingly. And they can live willingly. They can join whoever they want. And moreover, we are not feeding them. We are keeping them with hunger. They are in terrible poverty. The, noted, the notable youths are still around, not even an appointment. You understand? They are children when they are recruitments. Children of party officials cannot go, cannot get any job. The same party officials at district levels, constituents levels, ward officials, they, they are the way they are, and the more poverty. Um, I'm very scared because I'm in the stronghold. And what I'm seeing, if there is anyone who is relying that things are okay, 
either to the president, to cabinet, or indeed to the party top leadership. For me as Bruce Kanema, I want to make it clear so that no one will be able to condemn that Bruce, you never spoke the truth. Things on the ground are bad. Things on the ground are bad, terribly bad. Because even in the same little things that people can do, there are cartels, cartels here and there. The same people in positions appointed with salaries and allowances are struggling again with those that are not in positions to get a little drop out from their tables. There is a problem. They are eating, but they are pretending they are also suffering under this government. Even those that are doing a few things, they are pretending that they are not doing anything. They cannot share with a neighbor because they know this one is eating. There is a problem in the house of the UPND. Problems have been caused since the time of elections. Even our own NMC is unable to attend to it. Is unable to resolve issues because even NMC has got a lot of, actually a big vacuum. Which up to now, I don't know whether we are waiting for Jesus Christ to come and put things in order. In order to fix, confirm those that are acting, appointing new office bearers from NMC up to the district. We are waiting for Jesus Christ to come. It is a pity that things are happening this way for the part which people suffered for. It is being destroyed in daylight. Daylight. And we are all watching. For me, I have to put things clear. Even when the president would hear this voice note, it is not in discipline. But of course, it is also difficult for the youth chairman to meet the president. Very difficult indeed. The youth chairman are also languishing in poverty. No transport. They can't even mobilize. So in short, the party has been forgotten completely by our own selves. We have tried to fight for the party, but you fight it alone. In the northwestern province, if I can't speak, no one talks about the party. If I cannot control things, I'm a bad person. No one wants to hear about the party. When you go to the office as a, a top official or a senior official, you introduce yourself in that manner. The call will come, hey, you, you are under me. I'm a permanent secretary. I'm a member of parliament. I'm a what? I'm a PS. I'm a minister. Don't entertain cadres. The president said, I know there is no cadreism. Can you give those desks to that, that person? I have sent two people there, you'll see them. That is how things are proceeding. For those that are around the mine like us, the mines are those in positions, the contracts are those in positions. Others are coming from Lusaka in the name of State House. Others are coming in the name of their positions as ministers, as children, as what, to get anything. We were told to make cooperatives. Cooperatives are not supplying. The same desks are being handled by the people whose parents are in the offices, whose friends are in the offices, whose boyfriends are in the offices. It goes down like that. We were told to apply for artisans, mining artisans, or artisanal mining licenses. We did all that. We did all that in a very free manner with the hope that yes, what has been told to us will happen. We were told the cancellation of OPF mines are being done. Today they are on top of their gear. They have gotten all the mines again. They are all over. Selling the same mines, having more money. Going to the cadaster, the applications we made in November today, the same sites have been taken over by other people. They have got mining licenses. Only the sites where we applied, 
Where is our home? Also, this is how it feels being in power. Eh? Is to lose almost everything. We cannot be in politics with hunger. Because when people are dying, they die with the hope that, yes, even when I leave my child, when I leave my family, they will be able to benefit. Not that you suffered for the whole country in order to control. To control. Those that are controlling are eating. How about you, Emea Kata? We are losing it as a party. Our direction is lost. And things are bad on the ground. There is need for the redemption in this manner. People who remember us, people who remember these words. I'm a part official and I see it. We will not pretend to hide our heads in the sand, assuming things are okay. They are not okay, they are bad. That's why there is so much crookedness in the UPND. Because what we are doing, obviously, is to frustrate even our own people. There's no way we can fail to sustain our people. Our people in poverty. Oh no, this is wrong. I hope one day things will be better. I hope so and I pray so. My heart is in bleeding because the suffering of my members during the PF time, during the MMD time, the suffering was too bad, was too mad. And continue to suffer in your own government is a grave mistake. Bruce talks too much, he's an official, he's not supposed to say. Yes, but who will talk? Who will say the truth? I want to say it so that at the end of the day, no one will blame that. Why did you, you keep quiet when things were happening? You fishermen are commanders. Youths are the drivers of winning any elections. The women, today, only those in government. I hope civil servants will be in all the streets to campaign, sleeping down in what polling stations. We hope so. We hope so. Otherwise, things are not okay. Commanders, this is not all. There's still hope that one day we meet the president and tell him the truth. We tell him the truth. Either he takes it or he leaves it. Thank you, commanders. Enjoy your day. Morning, team. Morning, team. Morning, team. Indeed, Chairman Bruce, it's extremely disgusting and painful. Unless you are not a committed member, you can pretend and bury your head in the sand. Of course, at our level, you can try to do A, B, C, D. But you look at the general populace, general membership, who you know, that indeed these people sacrificed for the party and worked tirelessly for the party. Look at their lives. Look at the way they are lamenting. Here in Lusaka now, they are, they are talking bad about the party openly. They don't even mind who is around them. Any small discussion, it, it sparks serious negative discussion wherever you go. And these are bad signs. And uh, the, the tenders of trying to trash genuine concerns from people, of trying to ignore and call people names, those who are complaining, is totally the long, the long approach to politics. People must be worried and take interest in understanding and in paying attention to what people are talking about. And we should find a solution. Solution must be immediate. Because we've already spent two years struggling without solution. So it means we need to find a solution immediately. No dreaming at all. If we don't, ground will shift. We will keep on pretending the rude shock might, might catch us in future. 
that's when people accept it hates me to see people becoming very arrogant and so so stupid in the sense that when you talk to them they'll think you are just complaining or troublemaking but meanwhile you approach them with the love of the party indeed they say power blind we've proved it political power blinds people eventually the people that were suffering with on the ground my brother they become too wise simply because they are appointed when we are advising each other agreeing together by today you tell them one day is dev matenga it's not good politically they think you don't think they were assumed marozi na nguchabya kuti they are in their own world politics about perception politics about facing reality politics about politicking we have not formed an institution or we have not formed a, camp a company where you think no one can destroy your company because you are the CEO forever no these are politics we are the mess of people you do things in the interest of people whether bad or wrong simple so we are the only leaders who can change the status quo this is dj mutati exclusive all right that's all right for you today lovely viewers if you did enjoy the video please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below i'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers once again i go by the name of mutati mpondo i love you peace i gotta go